Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Today I've got a short tutorial. I hope it'll be short for you. It's to make a handmade envelope. I was wanting an envelope that would hold at least a four by six journal card. So this is a journal card that's cut to four by six and the envelope is roughly 6.5 wide and 4.25 tall so you have a little bit of wiggle room to put your card in i hate it when you try to put a card in and there's not enough to get it in and it hangs up so let me show you how i made these little envelopes today i've got an envelope stencil template that i created in my shop we're going to use that and i've also got a couple of stencils for patterns i have little heart stencil and the heart flower stencil so let me get some materials out and let's make an envelope so i want to have a pretty design on the inside of my envelope so i'm going to put down the little hearts stencil and i've got dried lavender my bottle has been dirty but dried lavender tattered angels glimmer mist now if you don't have tattered angels you could use your blending tool and ink and do direct to paper if you have other sprays in your stash get those out and use those i chose this color because it's a light color i'm going to spray and i'm going to grab another sheet of paper and i'm just using copy paper i happen to have a ream or so of it and basically when you do this technique you could end up making two envelopes one will just be the reverse of the other as far as the pattern is concerned so here's the mop up page so it's got the cute little hearts everywhere and then that's spraying it through i got a little heavy handed in a couple of spots but i think it'll be okay so i'm going to flip this over actually i'm going to change my mind i'm going to put back in the mop up page so this is the one where i mopped up I'm going to grab the heart flowers stencil. I'm going to use the true turquoise. Now remember there's mica in the bottom of these bottles. So you really want to shake this up and make sure that there's not any mica sitting on the bottom. So I've got true turquoise. I'm making sure I've got it shook up real well. And now I'm going to spray this side. I'm going to come back to the little hearts and lay that on top of my stencil and soak up any tattered angels that's on top. Now I'm using copy weight paper, so it will bleed through a little bit, but that's kind of what I like about it. It kind of gives it this grungy look. You can use thicker paper if you don't want it to bleed through. So there's mopping up the hearts. And here's what it looks like when you spray through the stencil. All right, I need to dry this before I move forward to make my envelope. So I'm gonna use my heat tool, I'm grabbing it, and dry this real fast. All right, the page is dry. I'm gonna flip it over to what will be the inside of my envelope and I'll lay my tinsel down. Again, that's my envelope stencil template to create a four by six inch stencil uh, envelope. So what I found is I will line up this leading edge down here on the bottom of my envelope template with the straight edge of my paper making sure that i leave enough room to go all the way around the stencil and i have a pencil and i'm going to just trace around my stencil you may not be able to see the line but i can see it and i'm going to use my fiskars easy touch scissors and then trim this out all right, that's been cut out. I discard this. If you are super savvy and like using all the little pieces, be my guest. I have too many things in my stash that I don't need to have a little piece of scrap like that. Now I'm going to take some Distress Ink Walnut Stain and I'm going to come into the inside of my envelope and add some Distress Ink. If you don't like the pencil mark, you can erase it. Just take your eraser and go around that edge. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go around the outside edge. And then what I do is I kind of eyeball it. If you're one of those people that has to have it perfect, get your ruler out, use your scoreboard and score across there. I'm just going to eyeball it. Just pull it up 
and fold it, making sure it's somewhat straight here. And then I'll use my sides here as a guide, flip that around. And then I'll fold down the top. Now you can leave this area right here just a little bit and then fold this down. And then I'll go around the outside edge again to define the edges of my envelope to pretend it's grungy. All right, and then to seal my envelope, I'll open it back up and push in the tabs on the sides. And I'll just put glue, not all the way to the top, just on the inside here and down the edge and kind of do a little zigzag. And then again, don't go all the way to the top. And then I'll fold up the sides and smooth that out. Just wipe away any excess ink. Well, I ripped my envelope because it is text white paper, but that's okay. It's kind of grungy looking. So there's the envelope base. Now I want to decorate it. I've got some Seedless Preserves Distress Oxide, and I have the, I think it's Winged Heart. I believe that's what it's called from Beeline Designs. I'll have a link in the description box if you're wanting this stamp. And I'm going to stamp this as if it's a postage stamp in the upper corner. So you want to ink it up and then press firmly. Don't rock it. Let it sit for a moment so that the ink transfers to your paper. Now, when I'm using Distress Oxide, I go ahead and clean my stamp because it can discolor your stamp and it could also transfer if you choose to change colors and stamp again. So I just spray it with a little bit of water, sometimes alcohol, and then just clean it right off. All right, when the distressed oxide ink is wet, it uh, tends to repel other ink. So I'm going to dry it with my heat tool. So you can see it's there dry. And then I'm grabbing the Grunge Love stamp from Beeline Designs. And I'm going to over stamp it. So I'm gonna stamp right in the middle of that heart. So you have the love on top. Isn't that kind of cute? All right. And then over here on this side, I'm going to grab a scrap of paper here. I've got the single rows from Beeline Designs. And I'm using Archival Inkjet Black. I didn't show that, but that's what I'm using. And we're going to stamp that to the side. And then I have from Beeline Designs, we're trying to line it up with my grids here. This is Cherish. I like this one because it repeats the word Cherish over and over, and I thought it was super cute at the bottom of my envelope. So it says Cherish, Cherish, Cherish to treasure, adore, value, and love. So that's the front side of my envelope. I'm going to flip it over to the back side. And this time I have Floral Cherish, so I'm going to look on my block and get it straight with the line that I have on this block. And I want to stamp it in the middle bottom. Cute! Alright, but we're not done yet. One more thing. I want a little closure on here. Now I have uh, recently added a bunch of chipboard hearts to my shop. So you get all these pieces, I believe it's 29 different pieces. And I thought, I don't want to use the actual chipboard. I've got a scrap. This is from mopping up or spraying in my tatter, my tatter Angels box. So this has just got some fun colors on it. So I'll take it to the back side, grab my pencil again. This is another way to use up scraps. You could use your scrapbook paper or gel prints. And I'm tracing around the heart. I'm using it as a template or stencil. So you kind of get a two for one out of it. And then I'll fussy cut this out. I find that if I move the paper and hold my scissors stationary, that I actually get a more accurate cut. So there's that piece. And I drew on the back side, so I'm not worried about the front having pencil marks. But I am going to go around the edges with some Distress ink. 
and that's kind of a plain heart. So I've got the heart branch, which is a bunch of little bitty hearts. And I'm going to stamp that over the whole thing. I'm doing a heart themed journal. And so I wanted some heart themed elements that I could use. And I'm going to take this and we're going to glue it on the back here. So I'll just put a little bit of glue, probably on the bottom third of my heart and center that up and then place that on the back. And then you can open your envelope this way and you have the inside, which is all nice and decorated. And then you have the outside. And again, here are a couple others that I made. I had these were Moppet papers that were laying on my desk. So I had to test my stencil before I made a video. So this was the same concept. I just used the different Moppet papers. And on the inside, like this one has from the January 2022 Stencil Club. And this is from, I think this is also from a Stencil Club. I don't remember which one at the moment, but this is my Little Daisies on the inside. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing a quick tutorial on making an envelope that will accommodate a 4 by 6 journal card. Now that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, I do have tons and tons of tutorials, so do check those out. Check out my playlist. Just go to my main page and click on playlists. I've started to categorize them. I'm adding more. If you notice a trend of tutorials that I have, but I don't have a playlist for that, let me know. Give me a comment down below. And let me know what you thought of this project. Give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, check the description box for links to my website, as well as the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group and my Facebook page. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.